Good morning, Mr. Enriquez and fellow peers. Today we will be presenting our analysis on the novel Raving World by Aldous Huxley, answering most of these rubric, analyze representations of people, people's political motivations and actions. <coughs> In our analysis, we will discuss the key features of those motivations each character is influenced by, and its consequences that are seen in the latter part of the novel. Uh, in, Al in Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, there is great emphasis on social stability, the manipulation of societal instincts through propaganda, conditioning, and psychological manipulation. It is evident within, that within the novel, the world state keeps its subject in a perpetual state of contentment by means of excess consumption, drug use, and sexual interactions. Unable and unwilling to express the flaws of their society, such as its rigid class system, or its rejection of real affection and love. Stability. No stability without individual stability. There must be men to lead them. Men as steady as the wheels upon their axle. Sane men. Obedient men. Stable in contentment. Page 36. This highlights the aspect of control through the use of similes in uh, comparing human, people in society to technology uh, for the political control of political control through artificial individuality and predetermined roles and classes, revealing the political motivations of the world state. This is further illuminated through the ideology of conditioning, particularly the allocation of individual social standing, which is shown through the tapes at the elementary school of consciousness. Alpha children wear gray, they work much harder than we do, because they're so frightfully clever. I'm really awfully glad I'm a beta, because I don't work so hard. And then we are much better than the gammas and deltas. I'm so glad I'm a beta, chapter two of Bringing World. This state, the state aims to establish a mentality of how the world operates, and as such, believe that their only avenue towards happiness is being in that social class in order for them not to rebel against their work. In relation to the individual's free will, it is greatly limited within the world state as its value seemingly falls short of the perceived happiness. This aspect, this aspect is explored within the conversation between Mustafa Mona, John, and Helmholtz as uh, regarding why society is in its current state, chapter 16. During this conversation and an explanation of psychological testing and experiment, experimenting conducted by the world state, whereby a population of alphas are placed in Cyprus, intertextual to that of Othello, that is a disastrous ending, and left to govern for themselves and allowing free will. This results proved disastrous as the lands weren't properly worked, there were strikes in all factories, the laws were set at naught. Page 196. Also portraying the reasoning behind Mustafa Mont's motivation towards the controlled and comfortable society of the world state. Liberty to be inefficient, miserable, freedom to be a round peg in a hole. Emphasizes the earlier notions of the social norms of the brave new world using metaphorical means to portray its meaning. It is further supported by John during his rampage at the Selma Distribution Center, where he says, I'll teach you. I'll make you, I'll make you free whether you like it or not. Uh, page 175. Further indicating that one's free will is unknown and unwanted by most. The results of free will being replaced by social stability and happiness allows for industrial efficiency where the world's stable now, people are happy, they get what they want, and never want what they can. The Society of Brave New World is a unique and yet indistinguishable society. Through the book, book Hanovsky's process, it allows to duplicate 96 identical embryos from a single egg as fertility is merely a nuisance, page 9. It's also identified as a major instrument of social stability, page 4, by stabilizing the population through conditioning from techniques such as near uploading conditioning and post snap technique. It conceals people from that sense of reality as they redefine it, as compassionate and to feel in their perspective of contemporary society and age. The consequences of these aspects inevitably affect oneself, making people like their unescapable social destiny, page 12. These highlights political ideologies where rep represent social individual characteristics are removed. Gender equality is also another aspect that influences individual individuality, treating women as sexual objects as seen from the way Henry Foster, Bernard Marx, and John, describing the beauty of Lumina and their wishes to have an intimate relationship with her, thus exemplifying the nature, the nature of promiscuity as normal in their society. The DHC supports this argument by stating, a love of nature keeps no factory to you, page 17. 
In the context of spiritual religions and spiritual beliefs, Ford, Henry Ford, the father of mass production, is seen as a holy deity that has been mentioned countless times throughout the novel. Religions such as Christianity, New Age religions, and other parties of religions are expressed as a powerful way of controlling society into a healthier mental, mental state, besides the means of sleep learning, Wikipedia, and other scientific methods. Furthermore, the cultist group and its events, Solidarity Service, uh, emphasize the notions of controlling society in relation to the well-being and ideologies. God is incompatible with machinery and scientific medicine and universal happiness. Expressing the notion of religions as void and is not required in a society that flourishes in its own accord. These aspects are affected by political motivations were asked to gain social stability. through scientific power. A couple of people have mentioned that now. Um, how do you tie that into politics then? Um, um, people use science as a means to control um, society because uh, humans are are abided by biological laws. So um, political agendas will want to exploit it and probably use the means of science to control and have power. Okay, that's it's a good point, it's a good broad overview. Now, but specifically with Raven World, uh, power seems to be in the hand of the scientists, really. But who's in charge of the scientists? Mm -hmm. the control, the control, control. The world's controller? The who is, so it's the politics, so yeah, I've got a look at the political aspect there about who's in control of the scientists, because the person who's in control of the scientists has all the power, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. you think. So you've got to think about that now. So that's why sometimes you might get a question that it might talk about um, control through scientific power, for example, at the point you've made. But you have to be able to tie that in directly to the actual political aspect. Because remember, this, this, um, this module is about the representation of people and politics. Okay? So you've got to look at it that way. But no, I think it's a great point that you've made, but I think it's, it was, it's the third time I think we've heard it but nobody has really sort of elaborated on it just yet. So just be aware that the politics does control the science, and the science does control the people. Okay? Yeah? Yeah, okay, cool. Well done. Thanks.